Hello everyone, photographer Andre Designs here with a new retouch video. And today I'll be retouching this image that you see on my screen right now. Most of you guys were asking me, you know, what's the editing process for this image. This image was actually taken back in 2015. This image is actually edited right now as you're looking at it. But yeah, that was what I edited back in 2015. I've lost the raw file, so this is a JPEG file that I'll be editing from right now so let's get right to the editing of an image that was already edited i'm actually just going to edit over it basically all right so the first thing i'm going to do is to create a um what do you call this again a crop so it's going to be a four to five ratio crop let me just bring this up here to about right there i'm not sure if that was the same crop i did for the image of um for the image i have edited previously but have you ever guys guys have you ever noticed that when you create a um let's say you just do the crop for your image and you notice that there's no background there's an easy fix for it all you have to do is to come here to where it says layer new and then background from layer and it gives you back the background layer all right so let me just create a duplicate real quick sure good all right good so now the image is cropped like how I'd like it to be cropped. And now I'm going to do frequency separation. That's the first thing I'm going to do. So I'm going to click on the frequency separation action here. Press OK. And then I'm going to go to the low frequency, well, the low layer. I'm going to press M on the keyboard for the mixer brush. That is the shortcut I use for my mixer brush. You can just go to the mixer brush. Well, you can just go to brushes and just hold down on the icon and you'll see the different options. I have my mixer brush right here. So. All I have to do now is to blend the skin because right now it's not blended at all. So we're just going to get this bigger and just blend the skin. Like back in 2015, I usually do a lot of creative stuff. Well, I was actually doing a, a fruit series. I actually did mangoes, I did um, grape, I did papaya, orange as you can see here. and I did melon as well and I did an apple yeah so I wonder if I should recreate those because I think I only have the orange and also the um, apple on my page right now I don't have the um, the other ones the reason I've removed them is because they were poorly edited um, so yeah I had removed them but I believe I still have those images somewhere boxed up somewhere but yeah so I think I need to go back it's either I recreate the uh, the look which I with a different model or I just re-edit them but I think I'm gonna recreate the look so guys all I'm doing right now is just blending the skin uh, let me show you the before and after real quick so that's the before wait 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 that's the before and that's the after and all i'm doing is just mix with the mixer brush at two percent wet that's all i'm doing that's all i'm doing as you can see all right so i think i'm good with um what i've done so far I'm going to come down to the model's neck and do the same thing. So, as I've mentioned, this image was um, an image that was already edited. So, I'm basically just editing over what I've done before. So, the blemishes were already removed. I don't, I'm not even sure if she had blemishes. Maybe she did. I don't, I'm not, I don't remember. And guess what, guys? This image was actually taken with the nikon 5300 d5300 so see nikon d5300 and i was actually using a tamron 70 to 200 millimeter lens i was at 165 it shows here or i think it was like 100 <clears throat> sorry 111 because this was a crop sensor camera and my iso was 200 not sure why and i was shooting at 4.6 
six. Normally, I would shoot at, well, but then I didn't really know. Sorry, I didn't really know the um, settings I should be using, the correct settings. So I was shooting 4.6. 4.6 is not bad, but I would be more likely shooting F7 or F8 or 6.3. You know just to ensure that everything is in focus and my shutter would be like at 125th of a second or 160th of a second so yeah i no longer use these settings at all all right so i think i am done with blending the skin what i need to do now is to fix right here so i'm gonna create actually i'm not gonna create a new layer i'm gonna use this high frequency layer and then i'm going to do uh clone stamp i'm going to use a clone stamp so i'm just going to clone right there i'm not sure why my clone stamp is not working i just sampled and it did not do anything all right i'm not sure why the clone stamp is not working so i'm just going to create a new layer and do a copy of the new layer and then i'm going to stamp it again well, it's working now, but I'm not sure what happened before. All right, so I'm just going to fix that. I don't think I need to do anything more. That's it. What I'm going to do now is to clean our teeth. So I'm going to come here to clean teeth and eyes. Guys, you can download my action by using the link in the description. Um my brush to about 59 percent i'm just gonna get rid of all right that looks good i was already cleaned up so i don't need to do anything with that uh, i'm not sure if i need to do any dodge or burning but yes i'm gonna do dodge and burning i'm still on the brush so i'm gonna move this to one percent and then i'm just gonna go to the dodge and just you know do some highlighting real quick before after just highlight the forehead highlight the chin highlight the under the eyes um the next so basically i'm just highlighting the areas that already has an highlight and um yeah just basically enhancing it that's basically what i'm doing all right, that looks good. I'm going to go to the burn now. And the burn will just shape the face. So that's right here. Not going to add too much. Just a little. So let's look at the before and after for the dodge and burning only. So before, after. So you see the face looks flat. And then now it has a dimension. Good. And then uh, I think I am done. I'm going to create a new layer again. And creating a new layer is Control Alt Shift E, and then I just Control J to create a new layer. Control Shift A to do um, camera raw. I think I want to try something in camera raw and see what's happening here. All right, so I'm going to use my warm tone uh, preset. I'm just going to add some um, what's this called? Bright to it. I'm going to lower the blue in the in the um, primary color under uh, collaboration, and then I'm just going to play with the curve a little bit like that. Let me just show you the before and after. All right, so this is a bit strong. I think I want to tone it down a little bit, so. To tone it down, I'm just going to press OK and then just lower the opacity right here. Maybe around. Yeah, 39 works. Good. So that's basically it. I'm just going to add some blue in the shadows and I'm done. Um, in the image I'd done previously, um, what happened is that I, I actually added some vibrancy to the orange here, but I'm not going to do that. Let me just go to that image real quick um, and take a look at it. Oh, guys, and remember to follow me on Instagram. Thank you. So this is the image. It's not really the same in terms of color, is it? Yeah, it looks the same. Oh, the crop is different. 
the crop is different. I cropped it a little bit different. I crop up most of the hair at the top. All right, so yeah, so that's basically it. I think I want to do the same crop. <laughs> I'm gonna do the same crop, so I'm just gonna uh, wait. Just gonna move this up. Actually, well, yeah, move it up to right there. I didn't have to do it. No, it's not even centered properly. I didn't have to do that, but I just wanted to. All right, so yeah, that's the finished product. Um, I don't need to do anything else to the image, so that's basically it. So guys, I want you to ensure that you subscribe to this YouTube channel if you're not subscribed. Ensure that you do not skip any of the ads. Watch the ads, because that, that will actually help me a lot. Subscribe and like um, the video. And to upload this image to Instagram so you can get the best quality, what you'd now do is to, let me just bring this right here. I'm not even sure why I'm even doing this because I'm not going to save this image. But yeah, um, all you have to do now is to go up to where it says file and then go to export, save for web, and then change the width right here to 1080. Save it to 1080 and then you just save it. Save it to wherever you, you save your images and then you just upload it right to Instagram. It will have the best quality and it will not look like you know it's not a good image in terms of quality all right guys so thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for another video bye bye